Okay, so we worked with this example with Raspberry Beret where I picked out my own um, sample of 30 words and we talked about how that could introduce some bias because um, when I, as a human, pick out my 30 words, I'm gonna pick out, I tend to pick out larger words that maybe are more meaningful to me and I don't pick out words like I and the and uh that um, were small and not very significant but they make up a, a good chunk of the song actually. So let's see how we can randomize this process using R and come up with a, a interval estimate for the mean length in terms of letters of all words in the song. Um, and that estimate is gonna be less biased when we pick this sample totally randomly. So I'm gonna work with question A on this slide and I'm using Zoom, hi there, um, because um, I wanna, swap over to um, R. Uh, so I'm gonna say goodbye, um, but I'm still here. And let's take a look at R. And so this is uh, what we're looking at right here is a file called raspberrybraid.r and you can find this posted in Canvas. Um, and really all I wanna do is work with the first couple of lines. So up here in line one, um, it's going all the way over to the right, but I typed in, or I, at least I uploaded every song, every word from the song to Raspberry Beret. So that's what lyrics is. Lyrics is our population. And this command, which is nchar, is gonna count the number of characters in each item in lyrics. Um, so it's gonna go through each of these words and really convert each of these strings of characters into string into a value. So yeah would get four, I would be converted to one and so on. So um, let's say first of all, I wanna collect my sample of words. I'm gonna pick a sample of size 30. So we use the sample function, which um, should be familiar to you. And the first argument is what is the data set we're sampling from? And so we're gonna sample from this data vector called lyrics. The next is the size of the sample. So here, um, you don't need to enter the size equals, you could just type 30, um, but sometimes that's nice to actually um, see what that 30 is corresponding to. So I'm gonna randomly pick 30 words from the vector lyrics and um, here we're gonna assume that um, we are not picking with replacement. So each time I pick a word, I'm actually not gonna put it back in. And so running this command, well, first of all, I need to run uh, the top command because I need to upload lyrics. And um, next I'm gonna run the my sample command. And what we can't see is actually what my sample is. So if I type my sample down here in um, the terminal, we can see here are my 30 words. And um, look at how many A's, I's, and so on. So this did actually pick uh, a good number of I's because there were a lot of I's in the song. So maybe this is gonna be a less biased sample than the one that we started with. And um, next, I wanna convert these, each of these words into a value corresponding to how many letters are in the words. So that's what nchar my sample does. Um, and I converted that to a sample called my letters. So if we look at uh, my letters, right, this three corresponds to you had three letters. This six means that the, the word change had six letters and so on. And um, finally, let's go ahead and see what the mean of my sample is. Oh, excuse me, I wanna calculate the mean of my letters. Um, that was the vector of um, values corresponding to how many letters were e each of the 30 words. So I'm um, running this command and I might as well calculate the standard deviation while I'm here. And I'm gonna create a histogram of that as well. Okay, so here's um, my mean was about 3.8. And remember from the sample that I picked on a couple of slides earlier, my mean was 4.3. 
Uh, and I suspected it was gonna be biased a little bit too big. And now we can see compared to a random sample, it is a little bit bigger. The standard deviation is about two. And over here, um, we're looking at a, a picture of my sample. Um, so you can see here that there are most of the words are say either one, two or three letters long. And there are a couple of longer words in here, probably raspberry being one of them. Um, and here, let me just compare this to um, what the population would look like. So if I run this command, I can, what I'm looking at here is the population. And so um, what you can see is here's the population, here's my sample. These two distributions look very, very similar just um, this has much higher frequencies because there's more words compared to our sample. So that's what you want to see. When you pick randomly, your sample should have the same distribution as the population. And that's why we get good estimates from random samples. Um, so we've got our mean and we've got the standard deviation of our sampling distribution. I'm just gonna jot those down on the slides before we click back over there.